Our, the Lord of Light, by the way, Melisandre's religion, which was referenced in the previous thing. Uh, again, I, I, I don't try to do direct things from history, but I'm certainly inspired by a lot of real history. And the, the, uh, the religion of the Lord of Light is, is based in part on, on a couple of the dualist religions that actually existed in our world. One of them, the Zoroaster, uh, Zor I can never say that. Zoroastrian. Yeah, whatever that is, yes. And the other one, the, the Cathars, or the Albigensians, who were uh, destroyed. Um, they were a Christian heresy uh, that flourished in southern France and um, a crusade was launched against them, um, and they were ultimately all wiped out in what is sometimes called Europe's first genocide. Um, the famous, uh, famous statement, uh, kill them all, God will, God will sort them out, uh, actually dates back to the Albigensian uh, crusade when they captured, when the crusaders, the Christian crusaders captured an Albigensian city, but only half of the people in it were Albigensians, the rest were good Catholics, and the, one of the people said, well, how do we, they, they look just like us, how do we know uh, who to kill? And uh, the commander said, kill them all, God will know his own. Um, and that's, that's straight out of uh, real history. But uh, the Cathars were a very strange heresy that make fascinating reading because they were they were true dualists. I mean, Christianity has this uh, concept of God and the devil, but the devil is definitely, you know, second place. He's, he's not the equal to God. He's, he's a, a loser. Mm -hmm. And uh, God permits him to do a little things, but in the end, there's no <laughs> doubt who's going who's gonna to come out. Um, the Albigensians, it was a real dualist system uh, where they thought there's a dark God and there's a a light, a god of light. There's a god of good and a god of evil, and they're per, at perpetual war, and um, they're they're equal, and we don't know who's going to win. Um, but the, the interesting part of it, you know, they, I mean, they were a Christian heresy, and their belief was that Jesus was actually uh, the son of the the god of light, uh, and so therefore he didn't really have a real body. That you know, here, here where they were kind of straying from Orthodox Catholic teaching um, because the body that we all live in is a creation of the God of evil. And indeed, the world that we live in is a creation of the God of evil. And it was a fairly persuasive argument, especially in the early Middle Ages, because they looked around and they said, look at this world that you live in where people, you know, there's no justice, there's no peace, people come by and kill you and rape your women and burn your crops and the Lord's can cut off your head at any times and you're going to get all these horrible diseases and you're going to sicken and die and, and going to be, you know, in great pain and women bring forth children in pain. What kind of good God would design this world? Obviously, this world has been created by the evil God and the good God is, is trying to get us out of it. Um, and that was, you know, the Catholics refuted this argument by killing them all. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so that makes fascinating reading, but that's, that's the seed from which the Melisandre's Lord of Light comes, that and, and Zoroaster, which was similar, but, but I can't pronounce, so I won't talk about it. <laughs>